Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Waga. We are going to continue building our Instagram, um, our Instagram Swift UI app. And what we're going to do today is we are going to hook up the sign up view, which you can see before you, to the uh, to Firebase so that we can sign up our first user. Uh, of course, first things first, I'd like to ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We have more content like this coming up and more interesting content in both Swift UI and Flutter on the channel and um, React content coming in the near future and more Flutter. Um, content coming in the near future so subscribe to the channel and you will get more stuff like this so let's get to work okay so this is what our app looks like um one thing we would want to create is we want to check we want to make sure that a user can't sign up and send um send information to firebase until he provides uh information in all this uh in all the what's it called in the text fields and also provides us with an image right so yeah so basically we, we want to put a check to make sure that our user has provided all the information before the, da the data before we attempt to send the data to um onwards to firebase right and for that we could come and um we could come here and um in the sign up view and we could create a function that will do this and we could say error check like so and this is going to bless us with a string uh, string like so let's give it a space is going to return a string optional of course and um if you want a more comprehensive uh a more comprehensive comprehensive way to check for errors you could look at my video i have in the in a playlist called swift ui basics i have a video for swift ui and um swift ui and combine if I remember, I will uh, I will include this in the descriptions, right? So, but if I don't, uh, I'll be doing like I'll be presenting this video like uh, a while from when I'm recording it. So, if I remember, I'll include it in the description. But just go to my Swift UI, check out how to use Combine um, to validate your form. I have, a, I have a video on form validation using Combine. But here we're just going to check that um, that there is no that somebody has typed something into the email, and then we'll use Firebase to relay an error message like if you make an error with the what's it called if you make an error with the email the email format we will display it in an alert right but if you want to do it if you want to do it more on this side on the client side if you want to do a lot more error checking on the client side uh, more rigorous you can use combine and I have a video on that but we're not going to do that here so we could say if email dot trimming characters and we could say in and we say dot white spaces like so and we say is empty or we come here and say mm, we could just copy this since it's more or less the same we could check whether the password where somebody whether somebody has typed something into it so it could come down here and we could say password instead of email we'll just check the password whether the it, whether that is empty or we could come here and we could check whether the username username dot trimming characters and we could say white spaces oh god i'm spelling it wrong in white okay, let me just oh it's supposed to be dot i forgot the dot white spaces like so and we say dot is empty so it's going to check whether the whether there's something in email, whether there's something in password, whether there's something in username. So those three are all um, it's easy to understand. And the next thing we're going to check is whether an image has been provided has been provided. And for that, all we need to type is image 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 data dot is empty. What we're going to do here in this case, if this happens, let's give ourselves more real estate so we can see it better. We are going to say um, return all fields and provide an image so we do that and after that um in case it, it if it passes this right um if it passes this we just want to return nothing we could say return nil like so so basically that so if we do that, we have checked that the error, um, we have checked whether or not uh, a user has provided um, 
has typed in something. And to check it out, I think we need to create a bunch of variables, state variables that we can use on our alerts and whatnot. So I could say state private um, private var, and we could say error, and error is going to be a string, and we could just put it as an start it off as an empty string, and after that we could create uh, something that will show our alert, and for that we could say at state private var show showing let's put it correctly showing alert and this is going to start off as false right and um we're going to have an alert title we could say state private private let me spell it correctly private var and oh, clearly this is supposed to be var not car anyway c and v are very close together and this is going to, um it's going to be a large title alert title and this is going to be of type string and we could make it something we could say oh no and uh, we can hit co control command and spacebar and we open our emoji dictionary and we have this crying emoji like so so oh no yeah so we'll show the user that in the in the alert if if they don't if they don't meet any of these characters or we get a message back from firebase We'll hook up the Firebase thing a bit later. So, um, yeah, basically that. So, what we could do is um, next we could go to the button so that we can show. Um, yeah, let's go to the button. So, for that, we come down here and we look for our button. Our button is down here, like so. And um, we could put an alert on it. We could say dot alert, like so. And um, the alert requires an is presented, and we could get rid of this. Um, sometimes the autocomplete isn't very intelligent, and we could connect it to bind it to our showing alert, like so. And we are going to have an alert, like so. And um, the title, the title is going to be, the title is going to be a text, a text, and uh, inside it we're just going to pass in the alert title like so and um the message is going to be a text with um error here and we afterwards are going to have the dismiss button and the dismiss button is just going to be we're going to use the default one nothing fancy i believe i have a video dealing with alerts and whatnot so if you're interested in that you can have a look at it and we can say here okay like so so basically that's how we would put our alert we could create the function that we will sign up with right so we could come to the top here um yeah we come to the top here and we could say funk um we say sign up sign up let's call it sign up like so and um we could say we first check if there's an error so we could say if let error equals error check the error check that we just created and after that we're just going to set the error to be self dot error is going to be the error we're going to assign it there and we're going to show our alert self dot showing alert and we're going to set this to true like so and after that we are going to simply return so after that we can come to our button and we can test it we can put it we can come here and we can say wait the action is going to be sign up like so and we can save and continue from there what we do is we need to check whether or not our whether what we have done works right so what we could do is we could come here and we could just try and run the app let's try and run the app so after we run it we should get our page uh, we should go to the sign up page click on create an account and we come here first we try to submit um, one advantage of using what's it called um, using combine is that we can do things like disable a person until the values are, in, are entered. But setting up combine would be another video to take something like another 30 or so minutes. Another 30 or so minutes into the runtime. And I believe this is already going to be a lot of videos. Maybe towards the end, I could also include it after we have done everything. I could include um, the validation on this side rather than relying on the a bit of a bit on this side and more on this other side. We could make it more rigorous. Anyway, enough talking. Let's try it out. So if we try to submit, we get please fill in all images and uh, all fields and provide an image okay let's first make it um, 
let's just find the please. Where's the please? Please fill in. Let's make sure the it's small. Uh, small letters like um, it's not capitalized. The F. So if you try to provide it, um, you get this. Uh, we can dismiss it. If we provide an image, let's make sure everything works. Uh, let's provide this image, and you see we can edit it, and we can hit choose like so. And we come here and we try and provide it. Remember, this is a scroll view, so we can scroll up. Hit sign up, uh, it refuses. We provide this. We try to sign up, it refuses. We provide this. We try to sign up, it refuses. We provide this. We should get nothing now, if everything is okay. And we do so. And now we can click on it without any issue, right? And we can, if we hit create an account, Ah, uh, it's cleaned up. Okay, fine. Let's continue from there. Is we need to create a function that will clear our text fields after we have submitted the, our data. So we could come here and we could say func clear like so. And um, here we are going to have self dot email, and this is going to be just an empty string. I'm just going to set it as an empty string. We could say self dot username. No prizes for guessing. And we could come here self dot what's the third one? password I believe right yes password like so so we do that and it's going to um, if we do this it is going to clear out our our various fields right now the next thing we need to do is connect to our out service which we built in the previous video the out service is a bit of we built the out service and the storage service right we want to send everything not just the user but also the image we want to send everything a user completely his information plus his image right and the image metadata so what we could do now is we could come here and we could say auth service dot sign up and we can click on it right like so and the username in question is going to be no prizes for guessing the email is going to be the password is going to be the image data is going to be the on success image data on success we can come here and we can um on success we can just come here and we can put uh, let's say on suck wait let me just spell it correctly on success like so and we come here and we uh, we can put braces instead let's just um put braces and in the braces we're going to have a user and we could have a closure here we could say in and uh, after this we could just clear we could say self dot clear our text fields and security fields uh, remember one is a security field right so um on success wait um and after that we could uh we could continue we could close it let's um close it here and continue by saying uh putting another uh, another pair of braces and saying um error 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 message like so error message and you could say in and what we could do is we could print our error message so that you can um, get some visual feedback. And in the error message, we could say, um, let's capitalize it, error, like so, forward slash. And here we can have the error message, like so. And um, we could come here and say self dot error equals... Um, error message like so and what we could do is we could just put in the alert we could say self dot showing alert so that we can show the alert in case there's an error and we're going to say true and after this we are going to return like so to hook it up and try to send um i can't think of a way we can test whether the image has gone or not uh, except checking through the back end whether the image arrived. I can't think of any. But all the others, um, all the other text fields, I'm sure it's uh, it's fairly common knowledge what they are, how to check there. So we will know that our image transmission, the storage service is working if we go to the back end and we see our image. So let's just run things and make sure everything is as it should be. So we come here and we can go to our sign up page and we could. Um, our usual check still work. We can see fill all fields and provide an image. We can hit OK. So if we provide an image, choose a photo like so. Uh, let's provide this photo. We hit choose and we try to send. Um, 
let's make sure that this won't pass Firebase, right? It, the email is not pro properly formatted. So if we do this and we hit, it's going to give us the email address is badly formatted. So what we're doing is the error message we receive, we are actually receiving it here and we're passing it on to our alert. We're putting the the self the error message in the error and then showing it the error in the alert. So we see badly formatted. So if we say a at gmail.com, I think it's going to complain about the, pa um, the password. Uh, passwords in Firebase have to be at least six characters. So if we hit this, it's going to say the password must be, at, must be six characters or more. Okay, can we register somebody with only one initial? Let's call him, um, let's just type here password, like so. Let's hit that and we hit sign up and it will say, okay, that apparently worked. So if it worked, we should be able to go to our backend and look if we can find all our information. And another thing we find is that we clear out all our all our data, all our what it called, our data in the in the text fields. Yeah, so. And let's just restart things. And um, I've cleaned out the backend so that we can do it afresh. And we could come here and we could create uh, with with users that we will actually use going forward. Previously, those are I was just running data to test it. Um, Let's pick this, and the username here is going to be password. Um, the email is going to be password at gmail.com. The password is going to be password, like so. And if we sign up, yeah, so we should go to our backend and hopefully we'll see our data. Um, so we go to the store. Let's start with storage and see if the images came through. And we see our profile here, and we should see our um, we should see our image. And the image in question, okay, where the profile profile. Um, let me just reload because I deleted some things, but I'm still seeing stuff that was meant to have been deleted as I was testing it. And let's go with profile, and we should get an image. And the image. Yeah, so basically that. Is that the same image, image? Let's just check and confirm. Yeah, it's the same waterfall image. And after that, we can come to Firestore and we should have a users collection. So we should see a collection called users and here, and we have a link to our image. The email is password at Gmail. The bio is just a string. The search name is password. The UUID is that, which is the same as the name of the actual document. And the password is password. And we should go to authentication and sh we should see our one user. Password at Gmail, created, signed in user UID so basically that so we now have the capability of signing up a new user the next thing we should look at is signing in a user that has already been signed up but we will do that in the next video as always um thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you have any and i will see you in the next video